I'm the founder of a company called Droplet. We are a smart home platform that connects devices and gives you a meaningful, cohesive experience with that. Uh, just kind of phasing in and out, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let's try again. Sorry about that. Um, we're, we're a smart home platform that connects devices and gives you hopefully a meaningful experience from that. And what's happening, I'm sure all of you are familiar with where IoT is going, but what's happening is we're seeing more and more screens, first of all, right? We have, we have TV screens with set-top boxes, we have tablets. The, the battle for the screen in your hand has been kind of determined at this point. And uh, we have new screens that are arriving on our wrists, and if Google has their way, we're going to put screens directly in front of your eyes, which is sort of the most valuable real estate ever, whatever you're looking at right now. Uh, so you're going to expect those screens to do something meaningful for you. You're going to expect them to give you some kind of interaction with the rest of the world around you. Um, the other thing that's happening is we're kind of starting to see uh, devices that weren't connected before, uh, you know, software controlled and connected to a cloud or an app. Uh, we're going to start to see devices being connected that we've never seen before. And everybody always talks about the smart coffee pot that knows when you wake up and it makes coffee. But the kind of taking this all the way out to the, the way, way out future is, you know, a, a connected marker that automatically reorders itself when it runs out of ink. You know, that's, that's how ridiculous this stuff is going to get, right? Everything that you buy that you, now you don't think anything of it, you just throw it away, is going to have a, a power source and a radio and a, some kind of intelligence in it eventually. So what, you, what the industry is going to want for the home consumer is some kind of connecting platform to make that a meaningful experience. Uh, obviously, there are a handful of smart platforms you've seen out there before. Everybody's heard of them. I won't name any names. Um, many, if not most of them, deliver somewhat poorly on that experience. So we believe that we've created something that's really compelling. That's uh, okay. It's not important. <laughs> uh, it's just that it went to standby. Um, we believe we've created something that's really compelling. Uh, Give me one minute. Um, to, to answer this problem, uh, we've created a platform that is fast and easy to set up and auto-detects auto smart devices and gives the users an experience that consolidates that into a single app. So let me uh, attempt to demonstrate this uh, poorly for you uh, because I don't have a good way to hook up my phone to the actual screen. Do you want to hold the phone Maybe. Would that be weird? Does this work? No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll try that. Um, okay, so you're going to see my face because I don't have, you're going to see my face because I don't have any way for you not to. Okay, you're going to see my app backwards. So this is a test of your uh, backwards reading ability, backwards and blurring uh, reading ability. And this is also a test of my ability to operate backwards. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens here. I don't, I don't know if I can actually do it. I'm going to do this. I, Let's do a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, hey, so don't we have an adapter? Bring that a little closer. Some acrobatics here, but can, you guys can kind of see. I just want you to see what I'm doing. Um, so we can we can control these. Uh, oh. Sorry about that. My laptop was plugged into the. <laughs> so we can. Con Where are we at? We can control these devices. Uh, uh, sort of automatically here from this app. So we've got uh, we've got this this Belkin Wemo thing, and it kind of switches on whenever we plug into it. We've got these. Can everybody? Yeah. We've got this uh, this hue lights, which uh, one of them broke earlier today, and I don't remember which one. So one of those isn't here. Um, and we've got the uh, the Sonos Smart Speaker, which I think is going to play Wrath of Khan. Oh no, it's going to play Into Darkness. Um, hold on. There we go. And we can control that from our app as well. Uh, we can actually see what's playing. We can skip tracks. We can change the volume. Uh, oh, cool, Jurassic Park. Oh, no, Forrest Gump. <laughs> um, and uh, we can make, uh, we can also control the life bulbs. Uh, that stuff's turning on. I can't see everything at once, so hopefully everything I'm clicking is happening for you guys. Um, and, uh, and of course, like I said, the Belkin Wemo. So we connect to a lot of different smart devices right now. We auto discover all these. We also have support for Z some Z Wave devices as well. Um, once we've done that, we can organize devices into rooms, which is pretty simple, or we can create scenes. So, first of all, I'm going to uh, turn this music down because I'm competing with it now. So, there we go. So, we can create scenes from this. So, whatever state all this stuff is in. Oh, whatever state all this stuff is in. Yeah, just, just, just laugh when it goes off, then I'll know. Uh, whatever state all this stuff is in, we can actually. <laughs> Ah, all right, yeah, that. Uh, we can actually just with two clicks, I'm going to hit new scene, and 
I'm going to save this scene. And this is exactly whatever the state of everything is right now. So if I click this devices off thing, everything, yep, everything should turn off. And then if I go click, does anybody know what that was called? <laughs> I think it was 13. If I click uh, scene 13, it should turn yep, all of it back on instantaneously. So we've got this incredible responsiveness. We can control many devices one click at a time. Um, I'm going to run a different scene, which uh, may be a mystery outcome here. Uh, but it should change the color of the lights and everything. So our platform understands the brightness, the colors, uh, the fact that the music was playing, uh, you know, the, the volume that the music was at, and all of that is instantaneously at your fingertips. So I don't, I don't think I have to demo this any, any longer that, that way. Um, so we are, uh, our goal is to connect as, as many devices and as many screens as possible to create sort of a hopefully meaningful experience for you. I'm gonna, I don't want to compete with this, this flashy light thing. Oh. <laughs> Turn that off. Um, but, uh, but, our, but our goal is to develop, deliver an experience that is extremely reliable, that is predictable, and is solid enough that you'll actually trust it and make the smart home experience actually useful, not only useful, but more useful than not having it. And that's an important thing. Some of these systems are so kludgy right now that it's actually more work to operate than to, than to not have it at all. So we believe with auto detection, with a very, very fast user experience, user experience um, we can create something that's actually easy to install and meaningful. Um, we have our setup, our first time, that, that's, everyone says easy to install, but I'm going to qualify that. Our first time setup experience is 90 seconds. 60 seconds of that is boot time. 30 seconds of that is your time. In 30 seconds of your actual interaction, you've configured our device and it has discovered all of your smart devices in your home. So we're launching a, a beta in a few weeks and you can get that on Raspberry Pi. If you go to getdroplet.com, you'll see this really cool thing. And I don't know if I, I have a minute and twenty seconds left. Um, we'll give you. I'm not, I don't. I don't know if this sounds. We'll we'll play this video for you just so you guys can kind of kind of see the uh, the experience of that. Okay, it's a touch screen, so we'll just touch the screen. We're on a cell connection, by the way, so forgive it. The So we launched our super cool beta program in a few weeks, and about two months after that, we'll have an awesome developer API, so you guys can plug your own devices into it. I hope you enjoyed, and what are your questions? <laughs>